Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna continue the 2023 new Department 56 Halloween series releases. Uh, and today we're gonna jump in in this video and take a much closer look at certainly my most anticipated release for 2023. And that is the 2023 Rest in Peace Crypt and the coordinating accessory of Madame Laveau. You guys know that I obsess over the crypts. I have since the very beginning, and I've got them all. This is this is the, the latest one in the edition that still completes the set. And as good Lord willing, I will continue to purchase these as long as they continue to make them, and I am able to stand upright. As, uh, so I love these. And this one is certainly no exception. This one is a little special, quite honestly, because this particular Crip celebrates the 10th year anniversary of the Crip series. So it's marked in an inconspicuous location, really on the bottom of the piece. I will show you that to where it kind of commemorates the 10th year anniversary of the Crip series. So with that, let's jump in and take a closer look. Okay, so here you can see the box. You can see that this is the Rest in Peace 2023 Crypt. It is a porcelain building as indicated there on the far left bottom of the box. And again, we're not gonna go over too much of the box. These are all new boxes for 2023. I absolutely love them. I love the nostalgic feel of them and the look of them. And if you wanna see a lot of detail on the box, just go back and watch the 2023 review of Trixie's Tricks and Treats. Uh, and I go into great detail on the box and everything that's located on it. They're all the same. They're all the same with the exception of this one. Look at this. This is a 10 year anniversary release piece. And so this one's a little bit special. 20, uh, 10 years since the release of the first Crip. And so that is pretty awesome. I, this obviously completes my set for, for now. Uh, I mean, you know, we'll get another one next year and when it's released, but this is a really cool Crip. So let's, let's jump in and take a look. All right, so let's take kind of take a zoom back a look. And there's Madame Laveau, right? And, and there's the box for Madame Laveau. Uh, and so we'll take a, a much detailed look at her a little bit later. So if you were to buy this crypt brand new today, it would cost you $125. If you were to buy the coordinating piece, which I don't know why you wouldn't, it would cost you another $24 on top of that. So with that, is it worth it? To me, this is a resounding yes, okay? And, and the detail on the Crips has not deteriorated. If you've seen some of my other videos, I do a little bit of complaining on some of the paint job and the sloppiness involved with it. This is not like that. Thank goodness, because this is my favorite series. And so let's take a look. Look at the paint job on just about everything. Now, the if I were complaining about anything on this, and, and I don't really like to do that, the pumpkin LED is not completely centered. It is, a, it's kind of canted to one side. I think I could take a toothpick or something and kind of straighten that bad boy out in there. It still looks good if you turn it the right way, it all lights up and so I'm not really concerned with it. But look at the detail as compared to some of the other reviews that you've seen for 2023. Porcelain piece, very well done, very well painted. The leaves are all got, I mean, they're, it's just really good. And the, the old weathering on the steps and on the door and just on everything. Look at the, the side of the doorway on each side there. There's these big skeletons with, looks like swords or staffs or something kind of holding kind of holding those up there, just the detail on all of that. And then the red shining through with the yellow accents is just very cool. And then obviously, I mean, this is what you're looking for there. There's the 2023 um, boldly, you know, placed right above the door. And then you've got the light that lights up coming out of the top of uh, the door there. And that's to, you know, for, for nighttime, if you want to visit or if somebody's coming in and out of that bad boy, uh, they have a, a way to see, all right? And then you've got these two spires that go up the top of the crypt on either side, and then a uh, big cross kind of uh, is sitting right there in the center, and that cross comes off. So that's another piece that is easily losable, and so you wanna make sure that the, you box that up and hang on to it. But the detail 
on the brickwork and the, the weathering. Now you gotta remember, I mean, this is all hand painted and it's done incredibly, incredibly well. I have no complaints really on this piece at all. And so what does it look like on the sides? Well, it looks like you would imagine a crypt looks on the side. There's not a whole lot of detail. There are some cracks that you can see the red glow coming through, but the detail is about the same. No issues on any of the paint going around the side or the top. The, the, I always love the moss effect, the green, they kind of put in the corner. I mean, that is all just hand painted uh, with some different colors to kind of put a, a molded mossy effect on the, on the crypt. If we come around to the back, you can see that there's some uh, little, you know, vines or branches, trees growing up there. You can see more of the detail on the moss on the back uh, and, and the more of the leaves. Just a really, really well done piece. The other side is clearly uh, no different. Uh, again, very detailed. A broken piece in there that you can see into the crypt. A broken piece on the top which allows you to see down into the crypt. And all these throw a little bit of light. These LED lights, if you can kind of see right down in there, if I can angle it just right, they're pretty bright. Uh, and they give off quite a bit of light. So they, they throw a little bit of light on whatever is surrounding these crypts, whether it be the trees, they just kind of illuminate the green or the, the red would illuminate the trees at night or, or what have you. So love these crypts. To me, this is the most nostalgic part of my Halloween season. I am anticipating or maybe considering is a better word of redoing my large graveyard to make it even more encompassing, maybe multi-layered. I don't know yet. Just some thoughts I've got going. It probably uh, will not happen this year. I'm, I'm uh, quite a bit behind as far as building. So we'll see how all the rest of that goes. But just, if anything puts me in the mood to build, it's these. Uh, and I hope you guys can relate to that. To me, this is just a, such an overwhelming feeling of nostalgia and Halloween and scary yet respectful. Uh, I don't know, it just, it does something. Uh, it, it's very special to me for some reason. And that's why I love this series more than any of the others that the Department 56 puts out. And I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. This is the 10th year anniversary. And speaking of that, you gotta take a look at this. Now, this comes with a battery pack. You guys know that, but I use the accessory plugs, the three, three plugs. But look at the bottom of this, right? You can kind of see down there that it's got a 10 year anniversary with a black cat kind of sitting there. And that's where the lights and everything goes if you need to get to that uh, you know, later in life. You, can pry that out and, and maybe repair it. But that is the what that looks like on the bottom, which is awesome in my opinion that they, they thought enough to put some sort of a marking, at least uh, in, you know symbolizing the 10th year anniversary of this Crypt series. So you, if you can, can't tell in my voice, I'm absolutely happy, very, very happy with this piece and, and so thankful that uh, it's in my collection. So now, let's turn our attention to Madame Laveau. Madame Laveau has quite a story, uh, quite a story. She is, uh, first of all, she is a resin piece, and you can see that on the box there. She's a resin accessory. Uh, and I love resin accessories. Most of all, most all of, if not all of the coordinating pieces for the Crypt series are resin, and I love them. They're more of a dull finish, more, uh, I don't know. They're just, they don't shine. They don't, they're not glossy. I just like that matte finish better. She is a pretty scary lady. And Madame Laveau, if you know anything about her, she's a voodoo queen of New Orleans, right? And she actually has a crypt, they believe, in the oldest cemetery in New Orleans. I actually got to visit that on one of my flying trips um, earlier this year or late last year. I don't remember which. Uh, but just an amazing place. Uh, I visited her old home. Obviously, her home has been destroyed. They've built something else in its place, but lots of history surrounding Madame Laveau. So if you believe the voodoo, if you believe in that stuff, uh, lots and lots of history to see in New Orleans, and, and obviously evidenced by 
they had to close the the cemetery down or at least put um, you know, restrictions around where she is thought to be uh, entombed because people were putting X's, just, just destroying and desecrating her her grave, which is a shame uh, that people would do that. But, you know, uh, I don't know. It's, I guess it's the world we live in. Um, you know, you know, in our, our house, we are very religious people. I don't, I don't, I don't mess in, in fiddle and voodoo. I don't enjoy any of that stuff. I know um, who runs our household. And so, but I do love this figure. She is, is an incredibly cool piece. And so let's take a, a closer look at her. So we set her up here and uh, let's zoom in a little bit. She is freaky scary. I'm not even gonna lie, she's got the big top hat on, big voodoo eyes, got the you know paint on her face. She's carrying the big staff there with a skeleton. She's got a lantern and just the clothes she's wearing, I mean, just her hand gripped around uh, that staff is, is scary all by itself. She is well done and well painted. And she looks like that all the way around. Her dress is just flowing. The paint around the ground is superb. Nothing was missed here. Even the purple, uh, you know, sash or whatever she's got there across her arm that kind of goes down to the front of her dress is all really well done. She is a freaky scary voodoo queen and uh, she goes perfect in your graveyard. She goes perfect with his house. And so, uh, very, very cool piece. So when you set her down and then you put the rest of the graveyard around with the tombstones and everything else, you've got a really cool vignette. You've got a really cool addition to your uh, trick-or-treat lane as far as if you're gonna put a cemetery in there. You, you can do a, a, a standalone cemetery like I've done. There's so many ways to display this. I've got another way that I'm gonna show you how to display a crypts in an upcoming video where we're gonna carve a pumpkin and place the vignette inside a pumpkin with some different LED lights to show you how to light things from different angles, I think you're gonna love it and it's gonna really set a piece like this apart to make it look absolutely phenomenal. And you could do a whole bunch of those and, and, and get carried away with that as well. So that is that is coming up later this season. So you got that to look forward to. But hopefully you've enjoyed um, as much as I've enjoyed showing you the 2023 Rest in Peace Crip and the Coordinating Accessory, Madame Laveau. Well, there you have it. A much closer look at the 2023 Department 56 release of the Rest in Peace Crip and the Coordinating Accessory, Madame Laveau. Uh, this is the most uh, look forward to piece uh, for me every single year. That is the Rest in Peace Crip and uh, the coordinating accessory. They've all been spectacular, minus the Egyptian one. I didn't really uh, care a whole lot for that one. It is in my collection because I wanted to complete the collection, but uh, as long as they keep looking like this, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep purchasing them regardless because I want to keep that collection going. Um, but hey, if you've got this piece, tell me in the comments what you like about it, what you don't like about it. If you think it's as well done as I do, let me know. Maybe I'm just a little over the top with this particular series, and maybe I'm blinded by just the nostalgia behind this piece. So let me know what you really think in the comments on this particular piece and let me know if you have it. And if you don't have it, let me know if this video has tempted you to go out and get it because it should, because you definitely want this, I think, in your collection. I want it in your collection uh, for you so you don't have to search the internet and eBay and Macari and offer up six years from now going, man, I wish I could find that, but it's going for $275 at the lowest price when you can get it today for $125. So there's that. Hey, like always, if you've liked this video, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It helps me out. It helps the channel to grow. And it keeps me motivated to keep throwing out videos on these reviews and on the arts and crafts side of building and displaying these awesome and beautiful pieces. With that, take care of yourselves. We'll talk again real soon.